Welcome to another episode of Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And uh, we've got post, bam. And um, I've got good news for people that are actually a fan of Homelands. And you may wonder why, what, what's up with Homelands? Because I'm about to join um, a tournament to play in a tournament called the Wizards Cup that actually allows Homeland. So I've ordered some Homeland cards. They're probably in here. Uh, I'm also expecting some other stuff. So let's just open up these uh, these packages and, and have a look. This one is pretty thin. I believe it's just from the Netherlands. There we go. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Look at this. Look at this card. Obviously, this is not Homelands. Um, I bought this card from Coase and Nick. They're two twins that play old school magic. So just a shout out to you guys. Um, I'm going to, let's see, how am I going to open this? I think I'm just going to get a knife real quick. I'll be right back. Let's take a look. This is really, really a cool card. The thing is with um, with blue, of course, the color that I love to play because the Protocol Sorcerer is blue. Okay, let me just try to pay some attention here. Oh, wait a minute, it's here, it's the other side. I'm gonna slide the knife through and get the cello tape away. Now, one of the issues with blue is you don't have a stone rain, you don't have an ice storm, so, you don't have a sinkhole, so you need to find another way to get rid of uh, lands of your opponent. And one of those ways is, of course, Phantasmal Terrain. But you could also play with a Cyclopean Tomb. Cyclopean Tomb, four to cast, mono artifact, two and tap. Turn any one swamp land into swamp during the upkeep. Now, this is so interesting about these old school cards. Mark the changed lands with tokens. If Cyclopean Tomb is destroyed... Remove one token, just one, one token of your choice each upkeep, returning that land to your original. So the cool thing is, I actually get to choose and how ah, this art, it's so gruesome. Here you see the mummy in the pupil of the eye. It's just beautiful. Really like Anson Maddox always kind of makes this horror style art that I, I really, really, really like. And if you compare the old school art with the new school, you can't even compare the two. It's just the old school art is so much more. There's there's more, you know what I mean? More soul to it. There's more of the artist in each and every picture. You know, it's just the new stuff. This, this can't compare. You can't compare it. Anyway, beautiful Cyclopean tomb. Let's open up something else. Oh, I had post from Spain. Olanda. Oh, Italy. Sorry, Italy. Olanda. So let's open it up. We're still here in lockdown, so this is kind of the, the, the closest to a holiday that I get. Opening posts from countries that I usually visit during my breaks, and Italy is definitely one of those. This looks like it's kind of a lot of cards, right, in this, in this package. Let's get the scissors. There we go. Wow, a whole stack of cards. Again, we got this protection. Now you know it's old school. Then you know it's old school. Oh, look at this. Narwhal. So this is the homelands that I kind of talked about in the introduction. So for the upcoming tournament, um, I'm going to probably play these guys sideboard. Narwhal, really nice. First strike protection from red. And that, that makes it really strong. It is a 2-2 two, two for 4, so that's not all too good. But I think, you know, in the format that we're going to play, it's definitely useful as a sideboard card. So we've got two Narwhal English, and then we've got two Narwhal Italiano. Narvalo. Attacco improvviso. Protegiano dal rosso. Right? How do, if you're from Italy, let me know how my Italian sounds. I think it sounds quite passionately, if you ask me. But hey, I've got a full playset. Of Narwhal, but now I've got two Italian and two English. I'm not sure if that was my intention. It is kind of nice to see if there's any difference in print. Kind of looks the same. I would have expected the Italian version to be a little bit darker, but that's not the case. 
That's what you do see in Legends. You'd see a clear difference. Uh, okay, so let's flip this. Okay, we've got some protection cards. And here we got some more old school. Nope, also protection cards. Did I only order four Narwhal from Italy? Okay. Uh, okay, cool. That's uh, that's funny. I think so. This was shipped all the way to me from Italy just to get four narwhal. That <laughs> that's kind. Of, let me check my order. But okay, whatever. That's kind of funny. Um, another one. Keeping the pace in this video a little bit. I know I'm usually quite slow. This is some more posts from Cart Market. Let's have a look. Mm, don't want to spoil anything. And let's flip it. Oh yeah, Cole Golem. So I'm working on. Oh, I'm working on a, a Golem deck. I, I'm gonna call it Golem Family. And in my Golem Family deck, I need a Cole Golem. And I, I, I actually have. This is going to be uh, used. This ability. Because it's five mana from the dark. Really cool art by Christopher Rush. It's a 3-3 three, three creature. I can pay three and sack it. And then I add three red mana. How, well not good, but how interesting would this creature be if you could just sack it and get three red? I don't think it would be overpowered, but it would be so much more interesting. So now it's basically turning three mana into red mana. That's what it does. But I think in a deck with uh, with Tron Lance, I think it could buy could be useful. So I'm gonna use this in my golem family. I think I ordered a play set. Yeah, play set of coal golems. That color red is just really nice. And here you've got the kind of darker shade, kind of a blackish, and you've got the rush kind of signature there. It's just, it's really nice. Beautiful. Definitely gonna play those. Uh, and then we have one envelope left. What is going to be in here? Oh. Let's have a look. Ooh, it's a card in the top loader. That's, it's always a good sign if somebody sends a whole envelope like this. And hey, you can see my face. <laughs> That's funny. And you can, um, and a top loader. That probably means this is not a Homelands card. If it is, that, that's gonna be really funny. Um, we gotta get the cello tape off. There we go, we wanna get this out. I think I know what this is. This is another card I bought for on my sideboard, if if it is the card I think it is. Let's turn it around. Yes, look at this. This comes from Edo, shout out to Edo, who is an incredibly nice guy, who's got a beautiful card collection, and from time to time he sells things from his collection to buy new cards, to, you know, to do he always reinvests it. Um, he's always working on, on finding unique cards. And uh, he was selling his Acid Rain. So yeah, I bought it from him. Thank you, Edo, uh, for sending it to me. Acid Rain, one blue and three to cast. It's a sorcery from Legends. Um, I think it's not reprinted. And it says, destroy all forests in play. And what's really cool about this is that when you have a dual land, like a tropical island, it's an island and a forest, so it gets destroyed with an acid rain, and that's quite important. Um, the reason I got this card, I wanna play this in Timmy's Spellbook in the sideboard, they are quite expensive, so at the moment I only had a budget to acquire one of these. Um, ideally, I guess I would play with two in the sideboard, because then when you board them in, you actually have a chance of seeing them. I wanna use them against Tsunami. Tsunami is, for me, as a blue player, it's a problem. And um, green has become more and more popular, I think, you know, my YouTube channel is one of the places that you can blame for that because I've put Urnum on Ice on the channel a lot. I think it's a fun deck. It's a cool deck. Uh, it's played by my brother, of course. He's uh, he, he's the one who came up with, with the Urnum Get an Urnum on Ice variant, uh, which which is doing really well. It's really a top deck in, in the scene. But the consequence of that is that more people have started playing Ice Storm, more people have started playing uh, Urnum. Well, Urnum was already popular, but even more popular now. And more people are, are, are playing Tsunami in the sideboard. So I thought, you know what? I'm just going to play my Acid Rain in the sideboard. 
and, and at least try to do something back to, to all those tsunami players out there. You know, I'm playing a monocolor, so I know I'm vulnerable, but at least this gives me a weapon of doing something back. So I've got two really nice cards that I may use in my Timmy Spellbook deck, and both of them actually have something to do with um, with lands. So that is actually pretty cool. But look, look at this, just look. Aren't these cards stunning? Really, really happy to have these now in my collection. Um, special thanks again to the Kramer brothers, to Edo for sending these to me. And I want to thank you for watching another episode of Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And um, if you want to support the channel, you probably know what to do already. Hit that like button, hit the notification bell, leave a comment, let me know what you think of this mail day. And of course, if you're not a subscriber yet, please subscribe. It really, really helps the channel. The last thing that you can do is you can become a Patreon. You can join Timmy on Patreon. So um, that means you get access to the Discord. You can start playing in all sorts of silly tournaments that we organize. Not that often, but every once in a while we organize. Uh, I organize something over there. Um, so yeah, if, if you want to support the channel, you like what I do, uh, check out my Patreon page and maybe it's something for you. Hey, that rhymes. Man, that's pretty good. Anyway, uh, I'm getting sidetracked here. Let's take a look at the end scroll. And let's take a look at all the fantastic, beautiful, wonderful, handsome patrons and channel members of Timmy Talks. Ik het dus, ik het dus, somba kazee.